hello everyone welcome back to the map of mathematics in this video we are going to solve this nice algebra problem and here we have 4 to the power of n minus 2 to the power of n is equal to 1 and we will solve this problem for the value of n so the very first thing we are going to do is here first i can rewrite this equation as uh, here you have 4 we write it as 2 to the power of 2 and its whole power n minus 2 to the power of n is equals to 1 after that we will use here the nice exponential law and you know that about this law if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of n to the power of m it means that if you can interchange these two exponents then you will get the same answer which is a to the power of m times of n so now here we need uh, only to interchange these two exponents so according to this law we will just interchange these two exponents and we will get 2 to the power of n and its whole square minus 2 to the power of n is equals to 1 after that i can change this exponential equation into the quadratic form so that in order to change this i will just take here only y is equals to 2 to the power of n so when you take y is equal to 2 to the power of n so the above exponential equation will become in the form of y square minus y is equals to 1 after that we move this one in the left hand side and you will get y squared minus y minus 1 is equals to 0 and now uh, it is converted or changed into the uh, quadratic form so that here uh, we will use the nice uh, quadratic formula uh, in order to find the value of n so that here you have a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 1 and c is equals to minus 1 so now uh, our quadratic formula is y is equals to minus b plus minus b square minus 4 times of a c square root over 2 times of a so now here i can put all the values of a b and c in this quadratic formula and we will get the output in the form of y is equals to here you have minus b and we will put the value of b which is minus 1 so this minus and this minus is equals to plus 1 and plus minus here you have b square and the value of b is minus 1 so minus 1 square is equals to plus 1 minus here you have 4 times of a and c and the value of a is 1 and the value of c is minus 1 and its whole square root and whole over 2 times of a which is 1 so after that i will simplify the terms and you get y is equals to 1 plus minus here you have 1 minus here you have this minus and minus is equals to plus 1 and 4 times of 1 is 4 square root over 2 and now we again uh, make the little bit little bit simplification of this equation and you get 1 plus minus square root 5 over 2 and here you have two cases the first case is we take y is equals to 1 plus square root 5 over 2 and the other case is we take y is equals to 1 minus square root 5 over 2 and in the start of the question we take the value of y is equals to 2 to the power of n so it will become 2 to the power of n is equals to 1 plus square root 5 over 2 similarly it will become 2 to the power of n is equals to 1 minus square root 5 over 2 and first you focus on the second case and here you see that 
it is the exponential function and you know that it is always gives the positive value and this value gives the negative answer or negative value so exponential function cannot be equals to the uh, negative value so that it it is not possible to an exponential function is equal to negative value so that we will rejected this case and we can just proceed here this case only so in this case in order to find the value of n we will take the log on both of the sides and you get log of 2 to the power of n is equals to log of 1 plus square root 5 over 2 and now we can apply here the nice properties of log and you know that uh, if you have exponent under under the log sign so that uh, here we take this exponent in the front of this log and you get n times of log 2 is equals to here we can apply the another property of log and you write it as log of 1 plus square root 5 minus log of 2 after that uh, we will move this log 2 in the right hand side and here it is multiplied by n so when we move in the right hand side it is divided by each of the terms so you get n is equals to log of 1 plus square root 5 over log 2 minus log of 2 over log of 2 and here you see that this log 2 are gone and now we can use the calculator in order to simplify uh, this expression uh, so that here you have the value of 1 plus square root 5 is equals to log of 3.2360 and whole over you have log 2 and these are gone and you get minus 1. So now you can uh, use the calculator in order to simplify this expression. So now you can find the value of log 3.2360. Uh, so when you can apply uh, use the calculator you get this value is 0.51 over here you have the value of log 2 is uh, 0 0.30 and 10 and this is the minus 1. So when you divide 0 0.51 over 0 0.3010 you will get the answer is equals to 1.69 minus 1. So this is the minus 1 which we write as it is. So when you can subtract 1.69 minus 1 you get 0 0.69. So 0 0.69 be the final value of this given nice equation and this is the our final answer so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos